last name wrong. Rodas Mitoraki. Mitoraki. My last game, uh, guess was uh, Miklos. I, I apologise profusely. Um, talk to me what the Troika is going to say. Talk to me about the meeting that you're going to have. We're meeting them on Wednesday. We'll wait to hear from the Troika what they think needs to change. What's obvious is that the tax-driven austerity program is not working and the sacrifice of the Greek people are not paying off. I'll just give you one number. In the first seven months of 2011, the deficit is up 25% year on year, while the program was seeking for a small reduction. So the issue here is we need to balance the budget. We need to move in a way, though, that balances restarting the economy, reducing public spending, utilizing better EU structural funds and proceeding with privatizations. That's not happening. How today. quickly would that turn the economy around? We need to change the fiscal, pro the fiscal environment in Greece. We're not competitive, we're very subjective, and the, pro and the fiscal environment changes all the time. That means we are not getting any foreign direct investments to stimulate the economy. There is no private investments in Greece because the Greek banking system cannot provide liquidity and the state is not investing. So we're in an investment trap which leads to a very high level of recession. The recession level now in Greece is, uh, hasn't happened since the Second World War. We're talking about over 5% recession expected in 2011. In such an environment, it's impossible to achieve a fiscal consolidation plan. The politics in Europe are getting more and more difficult. The politics in Germany are getting more and more difficult. Is Greece expendable? Greece is an equal member of the European Union. The European Union is much more than the Eurozone. It's much more than the debt situation. It's the European family and we strongly believe in the, in the future of, the, of Europe. In terms of the deals that have been done recently, do you think Greece has played its cards correctly? The side deal with Finland now has the potential to put the second bailout in serious jeopardy. What's critical to note is that Greece is not a corporate. We're a country. And countries are not meant to give guarantees. In the European Union, there are countries we supported in the past, and there may be countries we'll support in the future. The whole idea of collaterals, especially collaterals in one country, is not what what European Union is about. So the idea of putting money into a pool, say it was privatisation assets before they're privatised, wouldn't work for you? Not in principle, but also practically, how would you put as collateral assets that you actually want to privatise? That will, will have a duration mismatch between the guarantees and the privatisation programme. But would it be enough maybe to kickstart the process? I, do we need to get over this hurdle that is being generated by this collateral I, I problem? Think, I think the discussion is moving in the wrong direction. The, the, pri the priority should be for Greece to get its finances in place. We need to balance our budget and we need to renegotiate the programme in order to find a framework that can actually deliver results. The big problem here is that the framework we have is not delivering results. And all this discussion about collateral has started because of the failure of the programme to achieve the objective set at the beginning. Um, do you think we're going to see the sixth tranche signed up for? Do you think that actually, given the fact that the numbers are moving in the wrong direction, that the debt to, uh, the, to GDP ratio is probably has an eight attached to it rather than a seven attached to it, will mean that we'll have a problem in September? We're being told that there's no issue and the European Union and the, the IMF, the European Central Bank, will continue the program. Um, the, the banks are getting bigger, we hope. Certainly that's what the uh, announcement today is expected to generate. Do you think bigger banks are better banks? The critical issue here is how do we strengthen the Greek banking sector at a time of crisis. I need to know that unlike in other countries, the Greek banks did not create the problem. It was the other way around, that the sovereign crisis created a banking crisis. The biggest issue now for the real economy is that there is completely lack of liquidity. And that means that healthy businesses are going out of business. And that's something the bigger banks hopefully should be able to address. Do you think it will stop the net outflow? We think that Returning confidence in the Greek economy is of paramount importance. And that brings us back to the original point I've made that we need to decide with our European partners on a new program, a program that sets objectives that can be achieved. Because if we can't meet our objectives, then that creates a big crisis of confidence and affects investments, affects the banks, and then we, we create a vicious circle of deficits. Nostra Turaki, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. I apologise so profusely for getting your name wrong at the beginning. It's clearly far too no early for my, for my brain to be waking up. Um, Jeff, I'll hand it back to you. There's an awful lot of serious...